Hey everyone, you're about to watch a video that's going to get thousands of views. Very cool, but your ad needs to be right here. Give me a call. Over the weekend, the much-anticipated Barbie movie made its way into theaters worldwide. It was fantastic! I would watch it again. Honest to God, I would watch it again. As soon as the doors of Riverfield 10 and Pikeville opened, the theater lobby transformed into a sea of pink and well-thought-out Barbie-inspired outfits. Obviously, most people don't dress up for a movie anyway, and then especially in this area, I didn't expect there to be that many people dressed in, like, pink. I'm, like, artsy Barbie, and I'm, she's, like, I'm punk rock, rock Barbie. Barbie. The film's debut has shattered records, making it the biggest opening ever for a movie directed by a woman, with a staggering $155 million in its opening weekend. It's been sold out almost every single night. Attracting fans from all generations, Mattel, the company behind Barbie, left no stone unturned when it came to promoting the movie. Collaborating with over 100 companies and even local stores in downtown Pikeville joined in, offering specialty drinks and snacks inspired by Barbie. It's been like an absolute rain of ages and I remember I saw an interview with the actress that was like she said that it was for everybody and I genuinely think that she meant it I've not seen it yet but I've seen a lot of people say it's really good and that it's really good for like every age range it was amazing it was really good um very funny I didn't yeah. know it would be that funny it was really good really funny and it was better than I thought it was gonna be I like Barbies when I was little it was cool I don't know I liked it so as the Barbie movie continues to take the world by storm Mattel is already making grand plans to bring some of their other beloved toy characters to life on the big screen reporting from Mountain Top News I'm Ethan Miller